Premier League champions with some of the best players in the world, Liverpool are back where they belong as one of Europe's elite. What's going on guys and welcome to the first episode of the Liverpool career mode as we take charge at Anfield. And if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications for more FIFA career mode videos. 490 rated players and around £100 million in the transfer budget as well. I think it's treble or bust this season. And looking at this team, where's the weak spot in this team? It's incredible. I suppose you're being overly critical. You could say a new centre-back is needed here. They can see the seven at Villa Park, three on the opening day to Leeds as well. Maybe get a new centre-half in. Well, no plans to sell anyone though. I mean, this team is just absolutely phenomenal. And I think about it actually, do you know what, if I'm gonna sell someone, Probably, probably Adrian. In fact, definitely Adrian. Adrian's definitely the only player that's getting sold from this team. He can go. Right, let's spend that money and make our first signing. And I said I want a new centre-back. Let's get one of the best in world football. Kaladu, Cooley, Bali, and Napoli. 94 strength. We're bringing him in. 88.8 million pounds makes him the world's most expensive defender ever and on 150 grand a week as well it's a lot of money but worth every single penny Kaladu, welcome to Anfield we've surely got the best centre back partnership in world football now he and Van Dijk together they're going to be unbeatable and Adrian's just come to me and said he's glad I've put him up for sale and a move is probably in everyone's best interests Probably, but well, it's certainly what the Liverpool fans want, that's for sure. 2.25 mil, Osasuna, yep, off you go, son. We don't want you no more. Too many mistakes, and he can't pass the ball. At Liverpool, you need a goalkeeper that's comfortable with the ball at his feet. And I, I know exactly who to bring in. Paolo Gazaniga. 84 kicking, a docks legend, and the perfect stand-in for Alisson. My favourite, our backup, welcome Paolo. And we're done for the window, no doubt about it. Better backup goalkeeper, world-class centre-half. This team's ready to take on the world. Right, let's crack on then. First four games of the season, Burnley, Leeds, Brighton, Newcastle. Opening day, goalless draw, but our first game at Anfield, it's Bielsa's boys. Let's get our first win here. Find out them. Slides Mane down the left-hand side and steps infield and finishes for the first goal of the season. Sadio Mane makes it one. Salah with some nice skill down the right hand side here, beats Shackleton, whips one to back stick, lovely cross and Marnie flies in for two. Oh nice football, caters on side, Jota for the finish, oh Jota don't do it to him like that, the icing on the cake, Jota with the finish, 3-0 Liverpool, that is just naughty, what a goal. Our first away day victory followed on the south coast against Brighton and after Captain Jordan Henderson scored the only goal of the game in the North East against Newcastle United, we end the first month off strong with three wins in our first four games, only behind the perfect Red Devils and for Cooley, Barley and Van Dyke, what a start. Four straight clean sheets for our new partnership. September is here, the transfer window is shut and you see our big games this month, Manchester United at home, Arsenal away and our first two games in Europe as well. First game, Solskjaer's side, let's be the first team to stop them this year. Thiago with a lovely piece of skill to beat Harry Maguire here and as he feeds through Mohamed Salah, he's beaten Luke Shaw, steps inside and scores. The Egyptian King gives Liverpool the lead, what a wonderful finish, Salah makes it 1-0. Into the final 20 minutes here with Salah in behind Luke Shaw again. He struggled with the Egyptian all game long. And as Salah steps in field once more, he beats De Gea for two. Point surely in the bag. Manchester United need a goal and they need one fast. Bruno Fernandes, Martial, great finish. 2-1. Can we hold on? Yes, we can. Just about. First goal conceded this season. But the three points the most important thing. Manchester United beating for the first time. Liverpool go top. And after victory in Denmark, it's now Arsenal away at the Emirates, and they look very impressive this season. Still goalless in a cagey affair here, but as Torreira slides for Aubameyang, it's a great save away, Alisson. It'll drop to Jamie Vardy and Van Dijk. Oh, how did Virgil Van Dijk not clear that? Vardy chips it. He's in position, but he misses the ball. Arsenal go in front, and it is over. First defeat of the season, and it comes at the hands of Arsenal. A disappointing defeat in North London, but a good way to close out the month. A 3-0 win over Crystal Palace, courtesy of an Origi brace, and a victory over Ajax on match day two means we end the month only behind Man City, who lead the way in the league, on goal difference. 
It's officially spooky season as we enter October and a couple of big games this month, including Spurs and Chelsea in the space of seven days. And after victory at Craven Cottage away against Fulham in our first of the month, Mourinho's men coming to Anfield, this would prove to be a very, very tough game. Lo Celso gave Spurs the lead, making it 1-0 before Origi continued his great start to the season, making it 1-1. Both goals before the break in a credible 1-1 draw. And after victory away at Atalanta in match day Free in the Champions League, we face Chelsea, Frank Lampard's boys, away at the bridge. This has been a very, very tough first half. Little going on, but Sadio Mane finds Robertson down left-hand side. It's a good cross by the Scott, and as Salah heads home at the far post, there's the goal right before the break. Salah with another, but for Kepa, you have to say, the Spaniard once again should have made the save. Goes to ground early, Salah's header into the turf, loops over him into the back of the net, and he knows it. That's a goal for Salah, but it's a mistake from Kepa. Chelsea working the ball around on the edge of the area here, looking forward at Leveller with 15 minutes to go. They've found Christian Pulisic in space. It's the American who chips it over Allison and into the far corner. What a goal from Pulisic. And the man from USA saves the day. It's 1-1. Two good teams, two tough games, two draws in a row, I'll take it. And after a win over Brendan Rodgers Leicester to close out the month, courtesy of once more D. Origi in fine form and Thiago getting the goals, we remain in second place, only behind the impressive Wolverhampton Wanderers with eight wins in their first 11, leading the way in the Premier League. November is here and I really think this is the month we need to assert ourselves and go top. Favourable fixtures all the way through including our first Merseyside derby at the end of the month and after victory over Atalanta on match day 4 in the Champions League set us through with two games to spare. I don't know what it was to begin this month off but we woke up feeling dangerous. First a 3-1 victory away in London against West Ham. We blunted the blades of a 5-0 thrashing at Anfield over Sheffield United and then a 5-1 victory over the Dan on match day five, perfect confidence heading in to the game against Everton. That's a wayward pass from Cooley Barney as Balassi chips it in. Abraham gives the Toffees the lead. Worst possible start, two minutes in, Everton in front. Tiago to Firmino and a lovely flick by Bobby Firmino to Tiago and Henderson's not going to miss that one. Jordan Henderson finds the leveller. Lee cancelled out early. It's the skipper with the goal. Walcott with Koulibaly on his heels and as his pass deflects off Fabinho. Oh, come on, Balassi makes it 2-1. A real stroke of misfortune. Everton back in front. Come on. Five minutes to save the game. Who's going to be the hero? Henderson picks it up. Rolls through Thiago. Beats Digne to the ball. And beats Pickford as well. Thiago rescues the Reds with five minutes on the clock. The Toffees flat out. Thiago with a goal. 2-2. We leave it late. What a point. What a thriller. What a moment for the Spaniard. And after the late heroics from our new man in, we do remain unbeaten since the Arsenal game, but still not top. Spurs and Man City off the flying start, with one point behind both in third. It's the final month of a long year as 2020 comes to its end, and there's lots of key games to play, including two big ones against Wolves and Manchester City to kick the month off. We're in a tough battle against Nuno's boys flying high in fifth at Anfield. Allison proved to be the hero at the death as the leader in the clean sheets chart prevented the top scorer, Raul Jimenez, right at the death. A credible point against a team in the top five, but after back-to-back -back draws, we slipped to fourth, headed a trip to the Etihad Stadium. Henderson to Salah. There's Liverpool looking for the first chance of the game here. 25 minutes in, Origi through to Salah down the right-hand side. He's played a brilliant ball into the middle, and Origi finishes it off. Divox fine form continues, but all the credit to the Egyptian king, Mo Salah, with one of the best assists in Premier League history. What a stupendous piece of skill across the face of the area and Origi applies the finishing touch. Liverpool lead, what a goal but what an assist. 
And that'll do it. Game of few chances, but a big win for Liverpool. Four points was the gap pre-game. You felt we needed to win this one, and we do. Huge victory. A huge victory was followed on by a win at Ajax on match day six in the Champions League, which saw us top the group and be rewarded with a more favourable draw as we'll take on the Italians Lazio in the last 16. Before we get to know, there's a ton of domestic football to be played, including our final five games in the Premier League this month, where after wins over West Brom, Southampton and Aston Villa, Villa, we leapfrog Spurs to go top of the table at Christmas. After Jordan Henson scored a contender for goal of the season and a win over Newcastle with this beautiful chip, Salah's fifth goal in six games ensured we make it seven wins in a row in all competitions with a 2-0 victory over Brighton on New Year's Eve. The league table looks like this through 21 games, Liverpool top but only by a single goal over Spurs, but there's a gap of 7 and 8 points over Chelsea and Manchester City. Wolves continue to stay in the European place for now, and at the other end of the table, Aston Villa, Sheffield United and newly promoted Leeds occupy the bottom three. In the race to the Golden Boot, it's Mexican striker Raul Jimenez and Lo Celso who lead the way, Salah is our top scorer with 12. It's the start of a new year as the January transfer window opens and after victory over Huddersfield Town in the FA Cup third round, Manchester City arrive at Anfield looking for revenge and needing a win in our first Premier League game of 2021. De Bruyne has his pass deflected by Cooney Bide, gets it back, Aguero holds it up well and finds Thomas with the finish and four minutes in, Manchester City take the lead at Anfield. He snubbed Arsenal to go to the Etihad, it's Thomas who makes it one. And Liverpool have not started this game off well at all, looking all at sea defensively. Sterling on the ball, rolls it across, Sergio Aguero for two, 15 minutes in, Liverpool sinking without a trace. You can tell Manchester City playing with a sense of desperation and urgency, they need to win this game. Nine minutes before the break, Origi in behind, yes, makes it 2-1, and we're back in it. Divock picks the... Bruh doesn't pick the ball up, he just booted it away, regardless it's 2-1 and the Belgian halves the deficit. 10 minutes remain here at Anfield in a huge, huge battle, Mane in behind the back line, goes for goal and scores, drills it in at the near post and the Reds bow back from two goals down to make it 2-2, Mane the hero, right of the death, Liverpool claim a huge point. A massive moment from Sadio Mane kept our long unbeaten streak alive and after returning to winning ways with a comprehensive victory at Molyneux, there was late drama at Ellen Road where we just five minutes to go, Roberto Firmino broke Lee Tart with a late winning goal. Victory over Sunderland put us into the FA Cup fifth round, and after Thiago and Fabinho got their second goals each in their last three games, three wins in a row sent us three points clear at the top of the table to end the month of January. There's a couple of huge games in the month of February, including Chelsea at home in a massive battle for the title and Lazio away in the Champions League. We started with a visit from struggling Fulham though, where Roberto Firmino scored a contender for goal of the season in a 3-0 victory. After a perfect group campaign, we then took a trip to Rome to face Lazio in the first leg of the Champions League, aiming to avenge our demons of last season and get a solid first leg result. Henderson. Plays it through to Firmino and he's found Salah bearing down on goal and Salah's not going to miss. One on one in behind the back line and as cool as you like from the Egyptian, 14 minutes in, Liverpool lead in Rome. Lazio right now have not got going and every time we come forward we look like scoring Firmino through to Mane. Once again we're in behind, Sadio cuts it across. Oh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Mane with a skill flare pass, Firmino with a skill flare finish. 2-0 Liverpool, he's silencing his critics but Lazio right now are all at sea. They've got to sort this out, otherwise this tie could be over in the first leg. It's all Liverpool and they just cannot defend. And that remained the trend for the entire first half. Goals from Thiago towards the end of the first 45 minutes gave us a 4-0 victory heading back to Anfield and we surely got one foot in the Champions League quarter-final. After a goalless draw against Crystal Palace away at Selhurst Park with 11 games to go in the season, we still led the way but only ahead of Chelsea who have been in fine form lately by three points. A massive battle at Anfield as Lampard's side needed the win. These are the sort of games that are so cagey, so nervy, with so much at stake. What is going to be the difference maker in this one? Firmino, great through ball. Henderson in behind James Tarkowski goes for goal, and what a goal! 
Jordan Henderson, captain, leader, Liverpool legend with a stupendous strike into the top corner and the Reds go in front. A moment of magic from Mr. Consistent, Jordan Henderson gives Liverpool the lead at Anfield. And as we held on to the victory with 10 games to go, that puts us 6 points clear of Chelsea, 4 clear of Spurs, we're 9 of the final 10 and we're champions again. And how fitting it is that as we kick off March with a win over Nottingham Forest in the last 16 of the FA Cup, our very next Premier League game is away against Spurs. Win this one and we go seven points clear at the top as we aim to retain our title and keep our treble dreams alive. Henderson tripped up on the edge of the area, but no foul, says the referee. Uh, Riaz just brought play back. Let's see her stay down and he is hurt. Our captain is down and he is in a lot of pain, Henderson. This is a worrying, worrying sight to see. His game is surely over. And how bad is that injury? Our captain, ever present and so important to this team, forced off early in the biggest game of the campaign. Mane holds the ball up and releases Thiago down left hand side and Asadio continues his run, Thiago's going to find him, Mane dummies and finds the bottom corner, Sadio makes it 1-0 and Liverpool take the lead 25 minutes in. We might have lost our captain, but we still have looked a better team out there. Vinaldo through to Firmino, holds it up and flicks it through to Thiago, strikes it first time. Oh, what a goal! Top bins and then some. Right in the corner, Thiago makes it two. 24 minutes to go, and with Spurs playing a really high defensive line now and throwing bodies forward, that spells trouble against this Liverpool team. Four shirts in the middle, Asadio Marnie's in behind. Salah, 3 0. Good night, Spurs. Big win for Liverpool, we lose our leader, but we'll stay top and extend the gap, Salah makes it free, it's been a clinical, ruthless, efficient performance, the Reds get a massive, massive victory in North London. That win sent us 7 points clear with 9 games to go, but at a huge cost. Henderson's injury was confirmed to be an ACL, which means our captain is out for the season. As we progressed through to the last eight of the Champions League, our treble dreams became a lot tougher as we've been drawn against last year's finalist Paris Saint-Germain, and after victory over Stoke, we've also got Manchester United in the FA Cup semi-final. A win at Bramwell Lane does mean we're now just 6 wins from the title, but can we hold our nerve without our leader in the heart of midfield? It's the penultimate month of the season and we've got a huge array of fixtures. Both legs against PSG in the Champions League quarter-final, Arsenal and Manchester United in the Premier League and the FA Cup semi-final at Wembley. Buckle up. Our first of the seven is against the Gunners who remain the only team to beat us this season and as we look for revenge at Anfield, it proved to be a case of next man up. Naby Keita in for the injured Henderson scored the only goal of the game to put us just five wins from retaining the title, giving us great confidence heading into the first leg against Paris Saint-Germain at Anfield. Early corner for Liverpool. And Mane rises highest to give the Reds the early lead. Five minutes in and Liverpool draw first blood. Both teams looking lively early as Verratti's found some space. And there's the leveller. Good finish by the Italian 1-1. This has been a really good action-packed first half and it's not over yet as Mbappe holds it up and the pass deflects straight into the path of Icardi who makes it 2-1. PSG lead. It's a crunching challenge by Chamberlain, but a fair one. And as Salah should be able to outpace Daily Blint here, he's going to need some support in the area, the Egyptian. And instead, he's found a back of the net. Salah has scored from the most acute angle possible. Liverpool 2, Paris Saint-Germain 2, and, and Salah... Are you Roberto Carlos in disguise? Poor goalkeeper, but incredible technique. It's 2-2. Half an hour to go and again it's PSG having the back four on their heels. Their front four so good. They've just been brilliant tonight. Absolutely brilliant. And that man in particular has been the heartbeat. Ferrati second, PSG's third. They're unstoppable. Three away goals conceded tonight. We've got to at least draw this game. Going back to France, trailing and needing to score twice. We need something more positive. Jota down left-hand side. Lovely work. Vinaldo on the volley. Drills it in. And it's 3-3. Free, free. A quarter-final tie for the ages. And there's a whole second leg to come in Paris as well. We'll need to score in France. But Vinaldo levels it for us. 3-3 the final score. The tie hangs in the balance. 
Off to Old Trafford then, Manchester United away, five wins from the title, let's make it four to go after 90 minutes, come on. Fernandez, what a lovely ball through to Martial, Alisson's coming, he's not got there either, Alisson off his line, and oh, Fernandez, <laughs> channeling his inner Jamie Vardy from earlier this season, a fan's favourite already, he's just totally outfoxed Van Dijk with the cheekiest of chips, and Manchester United take the early lead. Fred into Fernandez, and he is at the heart of everything right now in the number 18. Quick little one-two of Martial, goes for goal and it's glorious. His second of the game, he is absolutely irresistible. Mane in behind, rolls it across. Salah, 2-1, 25 minutes to go, need another one though. Look good when coming forward, but just simply cannot stop. Bruno Fernandez. oh my word. Anthony Martial gets the goal, but give the credit to the Portuguese midfielder. A cut above, a world-class display, and it is over. Manchester United 3, Liverpool 1, our second defeat of the season, and the title race is not over yet. Back-to-back -back games without a win, and now heading to Paris for the second leg of the quarterfinal. 3-3 free free in the first leg, we must score tonight, otherwise we are out it's the biggest game of the season Salah attacking down the right skips around Juan Bernat and goes for goal but saved by Kaylor Navas still nil nil balance first start but here come the host Neymar skipping inside and scoring beats his man beats Allison and gives PSG the lead right before the break a sucker punch we needed one and now we need two it's not looking good, just can't carve out the chances in this game here. Salah once again looking the most dangerous player, bending one and putting it just wide. 15 minutes remain here at the part of the Prance, and as Mbappe is sent forward one on one, it's over. It is over, Paris Saint-Germain are heading back to the final four, Liverpool's treble dreams end in France. Verratti, it's free. A night to remember for Paris Saint-Germain and a nightmare for Liverpool. The Reds humbled by the French Giants. How do we pick ourselves up from this? Back-to-back -back defeats for the first time all season long and the gap cut to just four points in the league. It's safe to say we're feeling the pressure and really missing our captain. So with our final two games in the league this month, we had to make amends and we just about did. Back-to-back 1-0 -back victories over Southampton and Everton mean heading into the FA Cup semi-final, we still have a shot at a domestic double, even if our treble dreams have now gone, with rivals Manchester United at Wembley, Solskjaer side are going for the kill and looking to inflict the big punishment. Fernandez with a nice ball through to Martial and Gaza comes off his line and Martial chips it over him. These two have been sensational every game we face them this year. Need to find that leveller before the break. And there's Origi spots Salah. The Egyptians through. Yes, get in and bends it in. 1-1. One, one, back on level terms. Mo to the rescue. Tough, tough game. Extra time awaits. One final chance for Manchester United. Bruno Fernandes to Anthony Martial, the dynamic duo. It's Fernandes. Oh, dear. Oh, what a save. Paolo Gazaniga coming up clutch and forcing a shootout. It's penalties. What drama at Wembley. First man up, Fernandes. Never in doubt. Fabinho, an unsung hero this year, puts us back on level terms. Paul Pogba with a comically long run up here. Ugh! But it worked. James Milner, Mr. Reliable. Oh, it's saved. Marcus Rashford. Yes, Paolo with the save. Still down by one though, and need to get back on level terms. Salah scored in normal time, but not from the spot. Martial against Gaza. Oh! And that might be the dagger. We're on the ropes now. We've got it all to do. Firmino must score. Otherwise, it's over. Yes, and he does. 3-2. Still the pressure's on Paolo Gazaniga now. If Mason Greenwood scores this, it is over. A chance for the teenager to dump us out and send Manchester United through. Yes, Paolo! Still need to score before sudden death, though. Sadio Mane. Please. Yes, sudden death. Van de Beek. Has it saved? Paolo Gazaniga with back to back saves has given Oxlade Chamberlain the chance to send us to the final. The former Arsenal man against David De Gea. Yes! Liverpool are heading to the FA Cup final. What a comeback on the spot kicks!
I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. I thought it was over. I thought it was over. Somehow came back from the brink to full sudden death. Gazza, the real hero, with back to back saves. And we're into the final to face Manchester City. And with four games to go in the Premier League, we're two points away from retaining our title as well. And with our final four games of the season, beginning with a trip to Villa Park, a routine 2-0 victory meant we had the chance to secure the title in front of our own fans at Anfield with a win over West Ham. Salah attacking down the right-hand side, in behind the back line, plays it across, and Firmino's not going to miss from four yards. Bobby Firmino makes it 1-0, and that could be the goal that gives us the title. Liverpool in front, and that might be all we need to win the crown. Scenes of celebration, but still a very tough season. Nowhere near as dominant as last year. But the most important thing is that the Premier League title is here to stay at Anfield. The crown retained. And our two final Premier League games for us record a shock defeat away at West Brom. But make amends against Leicester on the final day. Meaning the Premier League table ends up finishing like this. We finished six points clear of Spurs in second place. And had the best defensive record in the division. With just 23 goals conceded all season long. As Manchester City and Chelsea. Wrapped up the top four. Manchester United finished in sixth with West Ham and Leicester close behind. Arsenal finished in ninth place with Everton wrapping up the top ten. And at the other end of the table, it was Fulham, Leeds United, and Sheffield United who head down to the Championship. The Golden Boot this year was won by Raul Jimenez as the Mexican striker scored 24 goals in 37, two clear of Lo Celso and three ahead of Fernandez in third. No one had more assists than Xiang Min Son this season, though Thiago was only three behind him and Alisson won the Golden Glove for us with 23 clean sheets in 38 games. And as we head into the last game of the season, it's the FA Cup final against Manchester City, where Pep's side must win to avoid a trophyless season, or as we're looking to complete our first domestic double in 20 years. Who wants it more between Manchester City and Liverpool in the FA Cup final. Wow, what a tense, nervy first start. Still nil-nil. Not much to report. Very cagey at the moment. I am expecting it to liven up a little bit in the second half though. And right on cue, there could be a chance here as Keita slides through. Salah down the right-hand side. Our top scorer this season and should have made it 1-0. Edison with the save. Golden chance burned. Sterling down the left, in behind Van Dijk, and a lovely ball through to KDB. Oh, and Gazza Niga with the save. Both goalkeepers forced him to find saves inside the first 10 minutes of the second half. KDB denied by Paolo Gazaniga. Still goalless, just past the hour mark here as Rodri is dispossessed by Mane. And as Keita slides through Salah, he's in behind Stones. And Liverpool lead. Mo Salah doesn't miss twice in at the near post and Liverpool draw first blood in the final. Great ball through by Cater. Salah in behind Stones, bends it past Edison and in to the top corner with 26 minutes away from a domestic double. One final chance for Manchester City. Jesus in the area. Cooley Barley with the tackle and clearance. He's been so big this season and that'll do it. Liverpool are FA Cup winners for the first time in 15 years. 20 years since their last domestic double until now. We're FA Cup winners and Premier League winners too.
It's been a season to remember for Liverpool. We might have come up short in our hunt for the treble, but our first domestic double in 20 years is an improvement on last season and a wonderful way to close out the campaign. The squad has never looked better. We're definitely the best team in England now, but the real question is, how do we become the best team in the world? PSG avenged their demons from last season to win their first ever Champions League by beating Manchester United in a thrilling final, and after embarrassing us in the quarterfinals on their way to winning it we'll need to come back stronger next season if we're to stop them retaining so in the comment section down below today guys i need your help i want you to give me your transfer suggestions for the summer transfer window on what players we should sign to give us the best possible chance of retaining our trophies winning the champions league and winning the treble for the first time with liverpool comment down below thank you so much for watching the first episode of the liverpool career mode guys i really hope you have enjoyed it and please do drop a like for the next episode Episode. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're a new viewer and I'll see you for episode 2 of the Liverpool career mode very soon.